Okay, so welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing conjugation in the symmetric group on the set of n elements. Okay, right, so what we saw in the previous video is how you can interpret conjugation of an element in the symmetric group on the set of n elements by another element in the symmetric group on the set of n elements. Okay, so if we have sigma, which is some element of the symmetric group on the set of n elements, and some other element tau, which is an element of the symmetric group on the set of n elements, and you want to conjugate sigma by tau, what you can interpret that to actually mean is you are modifying this element sigma okay, by relabeling up the domain and codomain according to this mapping tau, okay, and you will turn it into some other uh, permutation of the set of n elements, so some other element of the symmetric group on the set of n elements, okay, and this new element that you get will have the same cycle type as it, okay, and we've done now an example, so in this case here was our sigma, and our tau was the mapping that's just swapped 2 and 4 around, so you can see that tau kept 1, 3 and 5 the same, but it just swapped 2 and 4 around here, okay, and we conjugated sigma by tau, and we ended up with this new mapping here, okay, which we can see very evidently is of the same cycle type as our sigma over here. Okay, right, uh, so I've got some final comments then to make in this video. The first thing that I want to talk about is, if we know the cycle decomposition of sigma, how can we write the cycle decomposition of the conjugate of uh, sigma by the element tau, basically? Okay, because there's a very nice way that we can instantly write down the cycle decomposition of this new conjugate element. Okay, and the final thing to discuss is, okay, uh, if we partition up the symmetric group on the set of n elements into conjugacy classes, what's the nature of these conjugacy classes? And that has a very nice answer as well now. Okay, it's going to turn out that the conjugacy classes are all things of the same cycle type in the symmetric group on the set of n elements. Okay, right, so that's where we're going to go in this video then. Okay, so let's firstly then answer the question of if we know the cycle decomposition of this element sigma, do we know the cycle decomposition uh, for this conjugate of sigma under the element tau? Okay, and again, the best way to illustrate this is just to do an example. Okay, so let's take our old and favourite uh, set permutation. So we'll again use this same set permutation here, okay, to illustrate this. So I'll again write it in a nice form here. So, whoops, I've made a mistake in copying it out. Um, here I'll replace this with a 3. Okay, so imagine that that's a 3. It'll become more, hopefully, easy once I've put it there as well. Okay, right, and then we've got 1 going to 4, 4 going to 3 here, 3 going to 1, and 2 going to 5, and 5 going to 2. So this is our old favourite um, set permutation on the set of 5 elements, and I'll once again box it in green here. Okay, now we know uh, that, the, uh, that written down the cycle decomposition of this is 1 goes to 4, 4 goes to, oh, and I've done it again, uh, let me cross that out again, 4 goes to 3, and then 3 goes to 1. Okay, uh, and then the other cycle is then that 2 and 5 swap over, so 2 goes to 5 and 5 goes to 2. So here is our cycle decomposition. So now what I want to ask is, can I now instantly write down what the cycle decomposition of tau, sigma, tau inverse is? So sigma conjugated by tau, and the answer is I can. Okay, there's a nice expression for what the cycle decomposition of this new uh, element over here that's now underlined in turquoise is going to be. So remember, this is sigma, and now what I want to ask is what's the cycle decomposition then of tau, sigma, tau inverse? Okay, well, I can do this, okay, because remember the interpretation of what this means. This means use this mapping tau to relabel up the domain and codomain, okay, and tell me now what the new set permutation that we have once we've relabeled up the domain and codomain is. 
Okay, so tau is some set permutation that's going to send all of these elements of the domain and codomain here onto some new element in the domain and codomain. So what is this set permutation going to look like once I've finished with it? Okay, so once I've acted tau on it, well, I can quite simply do this. Okay, so what I can quite simply do is replace 1 with tau of 1. Okay, so I can just replace 1 here with whatever tau sends 1 onto. Then for 4, I'll just replace that with tau of 4. Okay, so whatever this mapping tau sends it onto. For 3, I'll send that onto tau of 3, so whatever the mapping tau sends 3 onto. 2, it'll be sent onto tau of 2. And 5 will be sent onto tau of 5. Okay, and then I'll just copy the exact same thing out for the code main. So 1 will go onto tau of 1. 4 will go onto tau of 4. 3 will go onto tau of 3. 2 will go on to tau of 2, and 5 will go on to tau of 5. So I've now just relabeled up my domain and codomain, and I know that conjugation has absolutely no effect on the bit in the middle. That stays the same, so all of the arrows stay exactly the same here. So I'll keep all of these arrows the same. So the fundamental structure of the set permutation remains the same. All I've done is change the domain and codomain. And here, this now is my uh, set permutation tau, sigma, tau, inverse, so sigma conjugated by the element tau. And if I want to write down the cycle decomposition of this, what's it going to be? I'll do it down here. Well, quite simply, whoops, tau 1, tau of 1 rather, is going to go on to tau of 4. So tau of 1 is going to go on to tau of 4. Tau of 4 is going to go on to tau of 3. Tau of 3 is going to go on to tau of 1. Okay, then the next cycle, tau of 2 is going to go on to tau of 5, and then of course tau of 5 is going to go on to tau of 2. Okay, so that now is the cycle decomposition of my new element, the answer to the conjugation of sigma by tau. Okay, so that's the beautiful answer of what the cycle decomposition of sigma conjugated by tau is in terms of the uh, cycle decomposition of sigma, basically. All you do is replace all these entries with what tau sends them onto, basically. And that's the argument as to why our understanding of what conjugation really means in the symmetric group on the set of n elements allows us to understand this very easily. Okay, right. So, the final thing then that I want to talk about is the conjugacy classes of the symmetric group on the set of n elements. So, let's draw a picture then for this. Okay, so let's now say that this great big box that I've got here represents the symmetric group on the set of n elements. Okay, so I'll colour it in here, so we'll have it represented in red. And this represents the entire set that underlies the group. Okay, so this will have every single set permutation then of this set of n elements in it at some point. Okay, right. Uh, so what I now want to then consider is we can partition this group as we can do for any group into the conjugacy classes. Okay, so we can partition it up into a well-defined partition which is all of the conjugacy classes. Okay, and now what I want to consider is what is the nature then of these conjugacy classes. Okay, so to understand this, let's just have a look at the conjugacy class of one element uh, in uh, the symmetric group on the set of n elements. So let's consider the conjugacy class that contains the element sigma. So here we'll have the conjugacy class that contains the element sigma. Now let's remind ourselves of what the definition of the conjugacy class that contains uh, the element sigma actually is. So this is all things of the form uh, tau sigma tau inverse where tau is allowed to be any element of the symmetric group on the set of n elements. So basically, when you're constructing the conjugacy class of an element, what you do is you go through all other elements of the group, and you use them to conjugate that element. You collect all of the answers into a great big set, and that then is the conjugacy class of an element sigma. Okay, and we know that we can use uh, the conjugacy classes of elements of a group always for an arbitrary group, not just for the symmetric group on the set of n elements, but for an arbitrary group, you can use the conjugacy classes of elements of that group to partition up the group. Okay, and it 
forms a really well-defined partition, okay? It does not matter which representatives of the group you use uh, to actually generate the conjugacy classes because they all generate the same conjugacy class. So, uh, for instance, if you took any other element in the conjugacy class of sigma, it would generate the exact same conjugacy class. Okay, so let's now think then about the nature of the conjugacy class of this element sigma. So what we're going to do is we're going to conjugate sigma by absolutely all uh, of the other elements of the symmetric group of the set of n elements. But we know what this means now. We know that that means relabel up the elements of the domain and codomain on which sigma acts according to this set permutation tau, this relabeling map tau, okay? Uh, and we know that that therefore will not change the cycle type uh, of the set permutation. The answer that you will get here will have the same cycle type as sigma. So the, what we know instantly is that this entire set, the conjugacy class of sigma, all of these elements will have the same cycle type. Okay, so I'll just note that down. So they'll all have the same cycle type as sigma. Okay, and what I actually claim is that every possible element of the same cycle type as sigma will be in here. What this argument shows at the moment is that all the elements in there will have the same cycle type as sigma. What I want to show you is that any element of the same cycle type as sigma, you can actually find a tau which will conjugate sigma uh, to give to turn sigma into that other element. Okay, so what I want to show you then is that the conjugacy class of this element sigma will contain all of the uh, elements of the symmetric group on n elements um, that have that same cycle type as sigma. Okay, and the reason for that is that tau can truly be any relabeling map you like. It can be any possible set permutation. Okay, now if you can relabel up the elements of the domain and codomain in absolutely any way you like, okay, with any set permutation you like of the set of n elements, then how could you possibly not turn this into every possible uh, set permutation of that same cycle type because effectively you can erase the domain and the codomain and you're just left with these arrows and you can put whatever element you like in each of these positions because you have every possible set permutation at your disposal here. Okay, so truly you can turn sigma into any other element in the symmetric group on the set of n elements that has the same cycle type as it uh, because you have the full range of elements of the symmetric group on the set of n elements at your disposal. Okay, so my message from this then is that the conjugacy classes of the symmetric group on the set of n elements are going to be subsets of set permutations of this set of n elements that all have the same cycle type. So these elements of the partition basically, these conjugacy classes are just all the elements in the symmetric group on the set of n elements of the same cycle type. So all of these ones in this green portion will have the same cycle type, all of these ones in the red portion will have the same cycle type, all of these ones in sigma's conjugacy class will have the same cycle type. Okay, that is the nature of the conjugacy class in the symmetric group on the set of n elements. They are the subsets of set permutations that are all of the same cycle type. And that means, therefore, that the number of conjugacy classes that you'll have in the symmetric group on the set of n elements is quite simply the number of different cycle types that there exists of permutations of this set of n elements. Okay, right, and with that I will conclude this video on conjugation of the uh, some elements of the symmetric group on n elements.